nuclear energy can provide the world with much of its electricity needs. Future designs could also produce heat or hydrogen. But many people are worried about nuclear energy. So first, what is nuclear energy? It works by splitting apart the nucleus of an atom. That's the part right at the centre of an atom around which the electrons orbit. Chemical reactions work by rearranging the electrons at the edges of atoms. That's what happens when we burn coal, oil or gas for energy. Nuclear energy is different. It works by rearranging the nucleus at the centre of the atom. Nuclear energy in use today is called fission because it works by splitting up the nuclei of elements such as uranium or plutonium, which have large nucleus. In the future, fusion energy, where light nuclei such as hydrogen are joined or fused together, may also be possible, but that's still some way off. There are four main objections to nuclear energy. All of them can be answered. First, it produces radioactive waste. Second, it could produce accidents such as Chernobyl. Third, it's connected to proliferation of nuclear weapons. And fourth, it's just too expensive. On the first point, nuclear waste, it is true that nuclear energy generation produces waste. Of course, that's true of all energy generation. Coal leaves large quantities of ash and can send toxic chemicals such as mercury up the chimney. The real question is whether the waste produced by nuclear energy can be safely dealt with. The answer is yes. That's partly because the amount of waste produced is relatively small, and some of the most dangerous waste can actually be reprocessed into new fuel. There are also technologies to keep the remaining waste away from people, by turning it into glass blocks and storing deep underground. The second fear is the possibility of accidents. Yet aside from Chernobyl, the record of nuclear energy has been remarkably good. And Chernobyl was much more a problem of underdevelopment in the backward Soviet Union than it was of nuclear energy. It was comparable to other accidents in the developing world, such as Bhopal in India. Even today in China, many more people die in coal mining each year than were killed in Chernobyl. If a containment, which is standard in the West, had been in place around Chernobyl, no radiation would have escaped. The second most well-known accident at Three Mile Island in the US shows up the contrast. Three Mile Island resulted in no injuries and essentially no harm to the public. The third fear is the connection to weapons. It is true that the original invention of nuclear energy was closely connected with the Manhattan Project, which built the first atomic bomb dropped by the US on Japan at the end of the Second World War. It is also true that the subsequent development of nuclear energy has been influenced by military needs. The most widely used design of a nuclear reactor was developed by the US Navy to power submarines. It's right for people to be suspicious of the military, but there's no reason why technology has to be abused. Like other technologies, nuclear energy can be used for good or ill, and generation of energy is a good. It's wrong to try to solve the problem of proliferation through restrictions on energy technology. There are conflicts in the world between countries such as the US, Iran and North Korea. But trying to solve those problems by blocking the spread of technology can only hold back development. When sanctions were put in place to stop Iraq gaining nuclear weapons, they landed up targeting not just uranium, but aluminium tube and even the lead in pencils. Computers, electronics and machine tools are all needed to make nuclear weapons. The truth is that if a country has a developed economy, then it will have the ability to make nuclear weapons. That's a political problem that the world has to solve. It shouldn't hold up the spread of nuclear energy. The fourth problem is cost. But like most technologies, the key to reducing costs is doing things on a bigger scale. Standardisation of parts and production will certainly help here, as will a more sensible approach to small risks. So we should chill out about the risks of nuclear energy and enjoy the benefits of cheap electricity. I'm Joe Kaplinski on the Chill Out Desk.